and putting the reinforcing on the sides of the wooden side forms. All right, here's one set. I'm gonna put two more sets in. All right, friends, I'm just getting all tooled up, getting all the supplies out here to work on the wood forms for the stairway entry area. All right, friends, a lot of this wood, I uh, knew the dimensions. I took it off the uh, CAD drawing. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all these teeth here. We want a flat surface for our concrete to set on. Too many chances for a rock to get caught in there and leave an ugly mark on the exterior side. I want a nice clean seam. So that's it. I'm gonna take the teeth off. All right, friends, I got a brick. Just knocking down all the high spots there's going to be a temporary piece of wood setting on here that will be removed later on, but it's going to help determine how high the form is. It'll, it'll, so the flatter this is, the better and more accurate, and that's all there is. Uh, it's not rocket science, it's just uh, me being particular. Uh, now we got all the teeth off, and we got it uh, pretty much flat. We're going to start to work on the wood. And the wind is blowing out there. It's only been about a half an hour and I'm supposed to be able to get two hours. Well, I'll just keep plugging away. I'm gonna show you what one looks like. That's all, just to reinforce it, reduce the bowing on the plywood. It's raining now. All right, friends, that's going to be it for the day. It's too wet. All right, friends, uh, the sun is trying to peak out. And uh, just like yesterday, we got about two hours before the next storm clouds uh, move in. I'm using that windy.com to track the clouds. So I got about two hours. I got a right hand side, a left hand side. And um, I need to get those installed. The sun's peeking out a little bit. I'm liking that. So let's get started. Beautiful. All right, that looks good. Let's get a cross member. These are temporary. These are temporary too. They're just holding it for me. Okay, I got the right side and the left side up. The wind's not gonna blow them down. Now I can concentrate on building this end wall. All righty. That don't look too bad. All right, I pre-drill the wood, just the wood only, here and here. And I'm using these structural coarse thread, broadhead, exterior use. I've been using the two and a half and threes. They ran out of two and a half, so now I'm using the threes. The places marked BB are 450 pound pullout.
fine tune them and with the uh, hand ratchet. Oh yeah, that's plenty. I'm tightening it to where I could see the wood starting to dimple. And I like it. All right, friends. I could start to feel some more sprinkles and dark clouds moving in. I think this is a good point to break off and I should be satisfied. I at least got something done on this rainy day. Now that the side forms are attached, the temporary two by threes now need to be removed. It's gonna go in here like this. You can see I've already marked it where I want it on both sides. These pieces will stay and will be embedded in the concrete wall. Three on this side, three on the other side. And it's to hold the rebar in place and also holding the forms so they don't bow out. So, these I'm going to remove just for now. They're to prevent the top from expanding out when there's concrete in there. But for right now, I don't need them. All right, friends, now that we're done with the uh, side forms, putting the rebar in there and the last bit of uh, wood structure supporting, and uh, now we're going to put cross braces. I ran around, made sure everything was still plumb because there's been a lot of movement, banging around, and uh, the ICFs uh, haven't moved. They're still in good shape, all square, level, and plumb. So uh, now I'm gonna put cross braces in here uh, to help support this because this is wood, and when you put all that weight of that concrete in there, you don't want nothing to, to move. All right, here's one set. I'm gonna put two more sets in, and that is rock solid. Rock solid. Liking it. Okay, friends, we're doing one more little custom uh, work here to the wood forms for the stairway entry slash Bilco storm cellar hatch cover. This part here is all gonna be concrete, no uh, insulation from the ICF. That starts uh, 16 inches down. So the stub up that comes out of the ground in the stairwell area will be concrete. And that last little bit that comes up, about three inches, four inches sticking out of the ground is gonna be concrete. And I want that top edge to have a 45 degree miter on it. So I took a two by four, set my circular saw to 45 degrees and cut, pretty much cut the corner off of a two by four. And that's how I got these uh, beveled triangle pieces of wood. And that's gonna create the, the 45 degree miter at the top of the concrete for me. So I'm gonna get those in place, lock them down with some screws I don't know if you can see the vacuum cleaner back behind me. Uh, and I don't uh, show you, but I've lost a tape measure down the wall three times, a couple blocks of wood and my sunglasses. And I use the vacuum cleaner to suck them back out. Um, so watch for that. That's a lot of wasted time and I hate it whenever that happens. Right in here. Now I'll get some silicone. I'll fill these screw heads, uh, dimples in with silicone so the concrete surface will be nice and flush. But you see how that nice miter looks? Gives it a good look.
Once again, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.